Today I want to show you the 10 most common problems that you're likely to run into in your DIY projects with EMT conduit and connectors and we're going to talk about 10 different solutions that are commonly used to solve those problems and we're going to do it pretty fast. First of all is we see really commonly people building desks and shelves and whatnot. They need to secure flat surface to their EMT conduit or vice versa and these are a really simple and easy way that you can do that. You can use the one hole strap or the two hole strap just snaps onto the EMT conduit and then you can use a number 10 by half inch screw go through the holes there to secure that to your flat surface works really awesome we see it all the time probably one of the most common ways that you can do that another common problem that you might have is adding mobility to your builds and there's a couple ways you can do that one of the uh, most common ways is to use some casters we have these on the website we 3d print these and they just insert into the end of the EMT conduit and they secure in there nicely and add some mobility to your build. You can also make a custom axle. We've seen people do that where they uh, take threaded rod and use some pneumatic wheels and uh, have a full length video down below that I'll a link that you can check out if you want to do that. Works really well for kayak carts and different things like that. Another uh, thing that you might run into in your project is if you're building a sunshade or some kind of canopy or, or some kind of solution where you need to secure a fabric or a tarp or something like that then you can use uh, a couple different things. If you have grommets in your material, then these ball bungees are the most common thing that we see. Of course, you can also use zip ties, but essentially these just go through the grommet, wrap back around, and then of course, once you have your frame in place, this will work better, uh, but essentially it just secures just like that, and then it's a nice secure method uh, for securing things with grommets to your EMT conduit frames. If you don't have grommets in your projects, then you can use the conduit cover clips. And these are made to just go around the conduit, around the material, and then you snap these on just like that. And it's a really good solution for a really strong attachment of your material around the EMT conduit, as you can see there, and that works really well. Another common problem that we see, maybe in a situation where you're building an enclosure or whatnot, is you might need to hinge EMT conduit and make a gate. We've seen a lot of different solutions for hinges. This is one that a customer uh, actually reached out because they manufacture this and they 3D print it, and it mounts to uh, EMT conduit. You drill through it, add this hardware, and then it allows you to create gates. There's also an aluminum uh, PVC snap-on hinge that we talk about on the channel a lot. I think that's another great option, and that one installs with just self-drilling screws instead. I think that's another really good option for doing that, for adding gates and doors to your builds. We see it all the time. Now, if you don't want to add wheels to your builds, then you can uh, finish off and add something else. We have a couple uh, different uh, options on the website already, and we see other solutions. But these are a rubber foot that essentially just go on the EMT conduit, just like that, cover up the end, and work really well if you've got uh, you know, hardwood floors inside or you've got um, you know, something that you want to protect. You can put this. We see it. People use it for their boat covers and whatnot. They'll put this on the edge of the boat or the deck of the boat to keep it from damaging their boat. We see it on hardwood floors. We also see it in situations where you have a concrete floor and you don't want this to slide all over the place. Then this uh, works to help with that. We also have another solution. These are plastic end caps that work really well for this. And they just snap onto the end of the empty conduit and push in like that. And they're a little slick, so they don't really work so well as from keeping it from sliding it around. But sometimes that's a benefit because on carpet or something, these work really well and give you the opportunity to slide something really easily. But both of those options are really good uh, to finish off the end of an exposed piece of conduit. Now, if you're working on your build and you want to add some more security to it, another common way uh, or a common way that we see people do that is with self-drilling screws. Now, some of the connectors, like the coupling that I have here, already have a hole in place. So you just add the self-drilling screw through that hole and into your empty conduit, and you can add some security to your connections. And we've done a full-length video on showing you how to drill through uh, connections if they don't already have pre-drilled holes. I'll link that down below so you could learn exactly how to do that process. But this is a really great method for securing builds and for securing, um, you know, securing your connections within your projects. So that's a really good way to do that. Now. Speaking of uh, kind of adapting connections and doing different things, you might already have some pipes and tubes laying around, or you might have uh, you know, a boat railing or a wheelchair. We've seen all kinds of stuff. Uh, or you might just have other sizes of tubes and pipes that you want to adapt. And we have a few on the website. Uh, this is just a shim that allows you to adapt our three quarter inch connections to half inch EMT conduit. They work just like the normal three quarter inch connections. Now we just have that shim in place there just to take up that gap. And this works really well for half inch EMT conduit 
And if you want to, you know, customize this for all kinds of different tubes you might have laying around, then you can play around with different uh, plastic, you know, pipes and things you can use as shims. I'll link a video down below that explores that in more detail. That's something really common that you might run into and want to adapt your connections for. One of the most commonly used hacks is the threaded pipe inserts. And we started carrying these on the website because of how useful they are. But essentially, these are just a a piece of hardware that goes inside the end of a piece of conduit has these fins that spring back against and they're really strong and then they allow you to add threaded things into your builds. We see these used all the time for camera mounts, for adjustable feet, all kinds of different things. I've got some of the adjustable feet here. Essentially you just have the you know that this in the end of the conduit and then you have an adjustable foot at the base of your build. And these come in a couple different styles and just endless possibilities with these. We've seen flanges, we've seen uh, hinges, just all kinds of stuff you can use these for, incredibly useful. Another thing that you can do that is incredibly useful in your build is if you have a problem, like maybe you're a marching band director, uh, or you know you need to take apart a build year by year and put it back together, the Maker Pipe Quick Clamp is a really good solution for this, because as you can see, it loosens the connection so I can take this pipe out, but then I can just close this, just like that, and then that just secures this piece of conduit in there. So this is just a quick clamp that you can find on the website. It replaces the normal bolt that goes in the connection and comes with the connector, and then allows you to open and close this to make quick release connections. Awesome, really cool for all kinds of stuff. We see it used all the time. And last but not least is the classic rebar stake, which you can use to hammer in the ground. And this is one that you can get at Lowe's, and it's a three quarter inch diameter, which fits perfectly. Uh, inside of the MT conduit, as you can see here. So you'll just hammer this in the ground. You can slide the verticals in your project over top of it. And then this provides a really good base, uh, a nice stable anchor for your builds and uh, works really well for your outdoor projects where you can slide that vertical over it. We see this used all the time and it works really well. But that was 10 problems that you're likely to run into and common solutions that we see to solve those problems. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, if I didn't cover your a specific question or solution that you need, feel free to leave those comments down below or reach out to us. We'll be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.